Hello everyone, this is Miss Amy here to do another fun art project together. Today we're going to create this realistic looking acorn. So let's go over our supplies we need to complete this project. You'll need a piece of drawing paper, a pencil and an eraser, some oil pastels, and I'm using this set of 50, the Pentel Arts 50 pack. Um, these are, so if you want to um, get some that are similar to this, that would be great. Then we could use the same colors. If not, you can improvise or use the ones that you have available to you. Um, we'll need a little bit of baby oil or other clear oil. You can use like if your mom has like a coconut oil for her hair, as long as it's clear, we can use that also. Um, but baby oil works really well. Um, and then you'll want some Q-tips and some paper towels. And that is all we need to create this project today. All right, so we're gonna um, draw this acorn and then we're going to use our oil pastels to do some layering and blending them with our baby oil today. So what we wanna do is go ahead and I'm gonna have you turn your paper for now so you're in uh, portrait direction. This is landscape. We're gonna end up in landscape, but I want you to turn it so it's portrait to start. It's easier to draw it this way. So find the center of your paper and just go up a little bit, make a little dot there. That's gonna give us a guideline. So you go over, let's go over to the right. Let's go to the right and then down just a bit. And then you're gonna draw a curved line that goes through the dot over on the other side. Okay, and you can kind of fine tune that a little bit. All right, and then from that curved line, we're gonna do another curved line towards the bottom, but we're gonna leave a little space there. Oops, there you go, now you can see it. And then we're gonna start on the other side and do the same thing, you just curve it down and leave a little opening there. So if you can see on my actual acorn, it has a little, oh, this little um, piece at the end here that kind of sticks out. I call it the belly button, but I'm sure that's not the official term for that. So it's just kind of like a little V shape. So we're gonna add that onto our acorn. All right, and then we're gonna go back up here. You see where our two lines had come together? We're gonna start there and just make a curve line going up this way. Go to the other side and do the exact same thing, but the opposite direction. Okay, and then we're gonna connect those two lines with another curve line just across the top there. Kind of matches the curve of the acorn there. This is kind of the cap of the acorn. It looks like a little hat that he's wearing. All right, and then from that, on top of that, we're gonna make a little tree trunk coming off of that. And then just an angled line to show how it may have break, broken off the tree. That's a little stem. Now you can erase the dot. You can erase any lines right now that you don't want in your drawing. Um, this is a good time to do that before we start adding the oil pastels. So do make any adjustments you need to make. And then when you're done, you're going to turn your acorn back around this way. All right, now uh, this is pretty big. And it's not quite centered on my paper, but that's okay because this is kind of a messy project. So when you get done, you can actually cut your acorn out and glue it onto another piece of paper. So if you notice, I cut this one out and I actually glued it onto another piece of paper to clean it up and make it look really nice. Now, um, you can put it on a colored piece of paper so um, you can make uh, find a cool colored piece of construction may paper, maybe a purple or blue or green and glue it to that. It will look really good. All right, so we're gonna start with our oil pastels. We wanna start with a ye light yellow ochre color and this is the one um, that I'm using. It's number six yellow ochre from this particular set of oil pastels. So if you have a golden, a lighter golden yellow, um, in your set, this would be perfect to use this. Now I am gonna turn my acorn again because I wanna color it in the direction of the lines that I made here. And when I color, I'm just gonna, I call it a neat scribbling. 
I'm not going to go scribbling way big. I'm just going to do it nice and neat, following the directions of the lines that I uh, drew. So when I'm doing a neat scribbling, I want to make sure that I am filling in my paper. I'm not using a real heavy pressure because I don't need that right now. So you can see there's still a little bit of white paper showing and that is okay. So, and then I'm gonna go up this way on this side of my acorn. And then kind of up the center. I kind of wanna keep some of that round roundness as I color because that's going to make it look less flat and more like a rounded acorn. So get that first color in here. Now I made a big one so it's taking me a little longer. Your acorn may be a little smaller than mine. That is okay. Maybe you're looking at it from a little farther away than I am. Mine's very close to me. I was inspired by this for this project by the squirrels burying their little nuts in my garden beds. And I go, oh, let's do an acorn. That would be really fun fall. Remind us of the squirrels getting ready for winter. All right, so once we have our golden color in there, our yellow ochre, um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to choose a, I believe it's the brown, and it kind of looks like a reddish brown or orangish um, it's called it's number eight number brown uh, number eight brown in the set that I have and it kind of is a has a little bit of an orange rusty uh, orange color to the brown so when I'm doing this I'm actually going to leave I'm going to lightly just do like an oval here um, I'm not going to color anything in that oval. I'm going to leave that be golden. And I'm just not going to use super heavy pressure. I'm going to use my neat scribbling, just normal coloring. Like if I was coloring in a coloring book or something, I'm just going to do a nice kind of a light, neat scribbling here, coloring this whole acorn. except for that oval. I'm not gonna do that oval again. I'm gonna leave that gold. That's where the light is gonna be hitting my acorn. And I'm gonna go around that shape to try to keep the roundness of my acorn too. Okay. So once we have this color on, you're going to pick out a darker reddish brown color. There's several to choose in this pack. Okay, the next color that I'm going to pick is a, This is called Dark Carmine number 27. I really like this color for my darker value here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make kind of an oval around leaving, showing some of that brown that I just put down. I don't wanna color that in. So I'm just gonna make a little oval around my yellow golden oval there and just add this darker color in on the rest of my acorn. Kind of that darker value. I'm doing the neat scribbling. I'm not going to do heavy pressure right now. Color all around this. Still kind of following the shape of my lines there to give that round look to my acorn. All right, once you have all of these three colors on your acorn, you're gonna we're gonna blend them now. Okay, so I'm gonna actually turn it around a little bit and blend it with my um, baby oil now. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some Q-tips out of my bag there and just dip a, dip them in and wipe off the extra. I don't want it too dripping to really. Um, get a ton of oil on there. I just want to lightly 
put some oil now I'm rubbing a little bit harder than I was coloring because I want to use a little bit of pressure and that's going to make that oil pastel blend really nicely oil dissolves oil so that's why the uh, oil pastels blend so well with baby oil or any other clear oil so I'm kind of blending the edge so I'm starting with my gold and I'm going ahead and using the same q-tip and blending the edge there okay because I don't want it to be a harsh line of gold to my brown so then I'm going to start with a clean side and then blend there blend my brown in Go around that edge, blending that brown. And then I'm gonna blend right into that darker color, that dark reddish brown that I put down. Okay, then I'm gonna get a clean Q-tip to do the rest. Set that aside. It's always fun to see the oil pastels transform. You can always get a little more baby oil if it starts to become difficult to blend. That just means you need a little more baby oil on your Q-tip. You could probably blend this with a little cotton ball if you don't have Q-tips. You could use a little cotton ball and blend. That would probably work fine also. Okay, now once you've got it all blended, um, it's still a little wet and I don't want that wetness on there because I do want to put some more layers on my um, acorns. So I'm gonna wrap the paper towel around my finger and use my finger to kind of blend just a little bit more. I wanna blend that and it soaks up the extra oil Blend around my circle there. You can blend the gold. See how it kind of blends together and it kind of gets rid of that line. So now I'm going to go ahead and get a clean part of my paper towel to blend this darker area here. Following the same direction that I drew and I am using a little bit of a heavy pressure. Okay, because so I want it to blend a little bit more. There, there's the first layer. Now you can start to see that roundness and the value, the lighter color here, and it gets darker. But, you know, I kind of, it's very similar. So I do want to darken that up a bit. So I'm going to go back to my red, and I'm going to add just a little bit of dark. Um, I'm going to add a dark along this where it connects to the cap. A little bit of a heavier pressure there. And the same along the bottom here. See how I'm starting to get a little messy on my around my acorn? That's why we're gonna you can cut it out later and glue it onto a new piece and it'll clean it up really nicely. So I'm only adding a little dark. I'm not gonna go all the way because I don't like that transition. I just want to darken up, especially underneath where the light is not hitting my acorn there adding just a hint of darker there okay and filling that in really nicely okay so let me grab a q-tip let's get a clean one here Dip that in and we're just going to blend the ones with the part we just did with the dark we don't need to re-blend that part so we're just going to darken this up a bit here or do the dark area with our baby oil to get that nice smooth surface of our acorn. Now I'm turning my paper just so I can kind of keep that round. It's easier for me to do it that way. Helps me to think in that direction if I put my paper in that direction. Yeah, let's see, I think I had more baby oil on that end. And that baby oil. Now you can keep adding layers and doing this until you get a, your acorn exactly how you like it. I'm gonna stop with this layer just for time. Um, but I'm gonna wipe off the extra baby oil, blend it a little bit. Now, 
my original one is probably a little, I probably did a few more layers just because I had the time to do it. So for this sake, we will, um, we're gonna not do quite as many on this one. And then I made my light a little bit bigger on this acorn. That one, I made it a little bit smaller. So you can actually go over it again with your yellow ochre if you need to, adding in just that little light reflection. You can actually take a little bit of white too if you need to and do some a little bit of white over the top of that just to lighten it up a bit. That works also. And you can then take a Q-tip and, um, oops, that's a dirty one. I'll use the clean side. Blend that a little bit. So that's all blended. And so you can lighten that up. So you can play around with it and go ahead and add some more layers and just make sure to blend with the baby oil after each layer and then blend, um, use your paper towel to wipe up any extra. All right, so now we're gonna work on the cap here and I'm using um, number 46 yellow gray. So what I'm gonna do is just start out with my light, my um, neat scribbling to fill in that cap going in the direction that I drew my lines. Now caps have a quite some interesting texture on them. We're gonna do something similar, probably not exactly like an acorn, it'll be slightly different, but it'll still look like, you can tell it will be an acorn. We simplified the texture just a little bit. All right, so once you have your yellow gray in, which is a nice warm gray, we want to take our darker, um, um, here's a little bit of Indian red. This is number 45, and I'm actually going to add just a hint of this Indian red to the bottom of my, I want it just a little bit darker there. So I'm just going to add a little bit, and I'll blend it in in a, mi in a minute. And then I'm going to take my Indian red, and I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of value or a little bit of kind of a shadow there and up along this area and just get real light. I'm gonna add some real light. There we go. I'm not coloring very heavy with this. I'm gonna blend it with my baby oil. Um, but before I do that, I'm gonna add some lines in. So I'm gonna go ahead and just with that thing, um, the end of my oil pastel, draw some curved lines across my cap. Okay, and then I'm going to take and draw lines going the other direction. I'm actually, so I went this direction across, so I started here and make them curve this way. Then I'm going to start on um, this side and curve them almost the same way, but curve, starting on the other side of my paper. So when you get done, you should have some kind of some diamond shape diamond shapes on your uh, cap there. All right, so what I'm gonna do next is blend in the oil pastel. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend this for, that I did here. Darken that up with my little bit of Indian red. Just wanted that just a hint darker. Okay, and then I'm gonna blend my little bit of shadow on the cap that I added with the Indian red. It's okay if I get a little bit over the lines. I'm not going to worry too much about that right now. I'm not going to blend the whole thing because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to blend with a clean Q-tip. Let me grab a clean end there in between all my lines. So I'm going to just go ahead, I'm going to try it. I'm going to get right up to the lines and um, blend all those um, spaces in between my lines. It's okay if you bump the line a little bit and it blends, that is okay. You want to make sure though, you don't leave any white paper showing through in those spaces. You want to make sure to cover all those spaces.
Uh, let me get a clean Q-tip. There we go. There we go. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and just blend that edge out a little bit more so there's not a sharp line, they're just a gradual change. Then I'm going to use a clean paper towel and go ahead and blend that edge there just a little bit. And then I'm going to clean up the uh, my cap just by blending those spaces, trying to get between the lines and trying not to touch the lines too much. It's okay if you do a little bit because um, it's showing a hint of texture without dramatic texture. We just want a little bit of texture showing there. All right, it's looking good. And then we're gonna do the stem. We're gonna take a brown, a num it says um, Van Dyke Brown, number nine, and I'm just gonna color it normal coloring just for my little stem there. And then I'm gonna take just a bit of black and do the bottom, just a hint of a little bit of black on the bottom of that stem, the same side the shadow is on, on my acorn. Take my oil, blend it a bit. Okay. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit more with my paper towel, just to soak up any oil. And then I'm gonna take my black again. I'm gonna add a little bit of lines just to give it a, that stick look, like it's a little bit of wood there. All right, the final step for our acorn is we are going to add a shadow using black and then our gray. So I'm gonna start with black and on the bottom side, I'm just gonna kind of make, start coloring right next to my acorn and I'm using a little bit heavier pressure. So I want a nice, black and I'm going to come out probably into the come out a little bit maybe show that a little bit of a point there making sure it's kind of rounded because my acorn is rounded it doesn't have to be a perfect shadow it can be a little bit bigger smaller than mine that's okay so once you get your black in there once you go ahead and grab that gray that little bit darker gray it's number 48 dark gray you're going to go over the edge of the black, kind of blend, and then you're going to color out a little bit because um, shadows even have some value to them. It's a little bit lighter part of the shadow. So once that's done, you're going to go back and blend that with your baby oil. So you're going to blend that all in. There. And I'm going to use a clean one for the gray because I don't want it to turn into black. I just want it to blend on the edge. And then I can smooth my edges a little bit too. And plus, if you cut them out, that'll help a lot too. That'll blend your edges really nicely. All right. And then I'm going to get a paper towel and use my paper towel to kind of blend and soak up that extra baby oil. Okay, now you have a nice um, acorn with shadow and what I would recommend is cutting this out and that'll get rid of all the smudges and then take that and glue that to another piece of paper and you'll have a beautiful acorn. So thank you so much for joining me for this fun project today. Um, I'd love to see a picture of your finished acorn. Feel free to send me one. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.